There are a lot of folks that are currently pursuing cybersecurity or at least thinking about a career in cybersecurity. You should have a good foundation in IT before you really steer yourself uh, and dedicate yourself to cybersecurity. You do want to have other certifications blended in and then cybersecurity is a great way uh, to, to affect pre-existing certifications like CCNA, MCSA, A+, Network+. Plus. So what I wanna do is I wanna steer you toward Cisco's CCNA and CCNP certifications. Specifically, the old routing and switching would have worked in 2020. The new certifications are enterprise that are equivalent to routing and switching. We have to remember that with cybersecurity, we're either protecting systems that would be a blue team function, or we're trying to test for existing vulnerabilities. That would be a red team operation. How are you going to protect systems you don't understand the operation of? And how are you going to find vulnerabilities when you don't understand how things work? Understanding vulnerabilities is really dependent on understanding things like the network communication, how protocols work, how technologies work, and networking is the foundation for many of these red team and blue team operations. CEH does not have hard prerequisites, nor does Security Plus. And those are really the first security certi certifications that you're likely to take. And because there are no prerequisites, people go, well, I'm just going to take that because I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to waste time learning maybe about Microsoft MCSA, which would be another possible realistic way to get into the cybersecurity field. You need to show balance in the certifications to show that you've been here for a decent amount of time. And that balance is well uh, complemented by having specifically things like uh, CCNA and CCNP Enterprise. If you don't have all that foundation, then you're coming to the table not fully armed and you can get exposed. You could get exposed in an interview. You could get exposed in your first few weeks of the job, which you're underprepared for. Prepare yourself the right way. Think about Cisco's CCNA certification and to improve on that CCNP enterprise. Now, if you just wanted to get one certification, the CCNA would still be a great choice. You don't have to go all the way and getting your CCNP Enterprise. But I tell you what, somebody's gonna look at you very differently if you have your CCNP and Security Plus. If you have your CCNP and Security Plus or CCNP and CEH, whoa, that's gonna be a very big deal. You are going to get recognition in the interview and you can start to have very interesting conversations when you're trying to join this exciting specialization field in IT.